So I couldn't post last week because I went skiing. Yay! And I also did some jumps off the train too. Yay! And I also got hit in my face by a pole and knocked some teeth loose. Yay! Oy. Anyway, I'll probably be like mumbling a bit because like when I talk it's... So anyway, let's get on to the video and the tutorial on how to make it look like you're stuck in a box. Hey Jack, what you got there? A clone in a box. A what? A clone in a box. A clone in a box. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No. Well, fine. Let me open it. Hi. What are you? I'm a clone of Jack. So you're saying you're made from Jack's DNA? Yup, made in a factory by Amazon. Made by Amazon? Wait, that means I can refund you, right? Well, if I have any defects, yes. But, I don't seem to be missing any fingers, so I should be good. Well, fine. You need anything? Well, yes, actually. It's getting really uncomfortable in this box. I've been in here for like a day. Can you please take me out? Is that all? Yep, that's it. So, how are we gonna make it look like we're stuck inside a box? Well, to do this, we'll need two things. A tripod and a camera, of course. So, basically, you're going to place your camera pretty high up on the tripod. So, you'll, you're able to angle it downwards at you. So, it looks like you're looking from above. It should look like this after you're done filming. Next. We're going to get your box, and we're going to take a picture of that box from about the same angle. And once you're done with the picture, it should look like this. And that is all the media files you need to make it look like you're stuck inside of a box. After we filmed our stuff, took our pictures, it's time to get to editing. So, import your media files into HitFilm 4 Express and create a new composite shot, which is right here. So, we're going to rename this composite shot to box shot, and we're going to rename these media files for future reference. And it's really just easier. So, now after that, we're going to have two layers our media file, our video with a green screen, and our box, which is our picture. So now, we're going to create a freehand mask around the tiny person media file. We're only going to keep the green screen, and now it looks like this. So, after that, 
we're gonna drag in a green screen key and then go down to color difference key and bring up the minimum to 94 and as you see there's these black dots which then you go to the mat cleaner click view mat bring up the smoothness and, and feather it out a bit and now it's basically gone so when it looks like this it's weird he's not small at all so we're going to go down to transform we're going to shrink the scale to around 40 and we can place him inside here right it doesn't look correct looks like he's floating He's not interacting with the land around him. No shadows at all. Nothing. Looks very fake. So, to make it look more realistic, we're gonna, sorry, we're gonna bring the person, which is me, down here. And then we're gonna make his feet disappear behind the box tab. So to do that, we'll duplicate the box, rename this one, box tab, bring it on top of the tiny person layer and then we're just gonna max mask sorry out part of the box tab like that and now this is what it looks like his feet disappear behind the box tab a lot more realistic right but still looks really fake there, as you can tell, there's a light source coming from this way. So, there's shadows here, but why doesn't the tiny person have a shadow? So, to create a shadow, we're going to control D, duplicate the tiny person, rename the upper layer shadow, and then we're going to drag in a hue colorize effect, and bring this down and change the lightness all the way down to negative 100. Now it's black. And then to make it lay on the ground, right here to match that, we are going to have to make it turn 3D. So I'm gonna add a 3D plane, click that grid right there. It automatically adds a new camera, which makes you able to do 3D. Now in transform, you see a lot more things, basically. So, we're gonna change the X rotation so it lays down more. And then we're gonna change the Z rotation so it's facing this way. So, that way. I'm probably gonna have to change the X rotation. So basically, you're gonna keep on tweaking it until it fits. And then, we're going to bring tiny person above the shadow so the shadow disappears behind him. Oops, sorry. And now we're just going to move him around until it fits in place. Which is about right there. Bring it a bit closer. There. Now, after we got our shadow in place, it still looks fake. Right? It's way too dark compared to the shadows here. So what we're gonna do is click on the shadow layer. We're gonna bring down the opacity to around 40. And then here's a shadow. And of course you can tweak it if you want cause it might not be perfect the first time you do it. Maybe a bit darker like that. But still, the shadow is a bit too sharp compared to the shadows here. So, we're going to add a blur effect. Sorry. Blur. Drag that onto shadow. Bring down the blur. Turn up the iterations to 15. Or less if you want. But, here it is. A shadow. And that is basically about it to sticking a person inside a box. 
Of course, like always, you can make more tweaks, make it better than what I did right now. But I'm just showing you the basics of how to make yourself be in a box. And thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. So, of course, thanks for watching. And I really feel pretty so I get So anyway, as I was trying to say, I wouldn't be doing this stuff without the support of you guys watching. Like, in June, I think, or did I start in July? Anyway, I had a very nice one subscriber, you know, right? One. So anyway, I'd like to wish you guys all a happy new year, and see you in 2017. And of course, please click on the left for my last how-to, and click on the right for my never-updated film tips.